Amy Mad here. And earlier today I made a prediction for the uh, NXT Revival. Or, uh, yeah, NXT, not Revival. Takeover in New York, Brooklyn. So I said I was going to do the SummerSlam. 2016. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, first three matches are gonna be not shown on a pay per view Cesaro versus Sheamus, F. Sami Zayn and Neville versus the Dudleys, uh, American Alpha versus the Hype Bros versus the Usos versus the Ascension and versus, uh, I know, it's a six man tag team. So, yeah, the Bob Uh, at least the pre show doesn't have any titles on the line. So, that's, that's a good thing. I always hate it when I see the Intercontinental Championship left out of the pay per view or the tag team championship. And so, let's go to Wrestle or uh, let's go to SummerSlam. We have Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton. I that this is I hope this is where I had them. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton. Now, uh, a lot of you, if you watch my videos, know that I'm not a Randy Orton fan. I never have been, but I also said last time I saw him in the WWE, uh, well, when I saw him do the RKO to Brock Lesnar, he seemed to be rejuvenated, he seemed to have a lot more energy, um, personality, that's what it is. So, it goes both ways. Like, there's, you have Randy Orton, here's a man who stayed with the WWE in, in the beginning, 2002. Both guys started in 2002. Then you had Brock Lesnar leave because he was pissed off about whatever it was and then he laughed again. That didn't sit well with a lot of people but it is what it is. He went to football, then he went to MMA, and then 2012 exactly 10 years uh his debut, he comes back, then he left again, then he came back, uh, became WWE Champion eventually, and he's not seen on TV very much, which doesn't make a lot of people happy. Well, whatever, I mean, I mean, you saw these guys who were WWE Champion, and they even sometimes would have matches on our SmackDown watch. I thought about this today, I'm kind of dead set against, but he is the champion. He only shows up when he wants. He only defends the title at pay-per-views. That's the way it should be. Unfortunately, that's... It hasn't been like that forever. Uh, starting in late 94, when you saw Bret Hart take off. One, two, three, kid, Shawn Waltman. Uh, from the, the, the WWE Championship. I'm losing track right now. So, then we have, I'm not gonna read these in order. You have Rusev versus Roman Reigns for the US Championship. It's gonna be, it's not a stipulation match. I wish it was. Uh, I'm just like that, you know. But what it is what it is. Roman Reigns, see this is the thing too. So Rusev, you know, you have Rusev go up against guys like the Big Show, Mark Henry, Jack Swagger, all those guys who are American Patriots, and all of a sudden, he beats them all. You know, with uh, the, uh, whatever what the fuck, you know. I can't think of the name of it, but it's, oh, the Accolade. I was going to say Camel Clutch, but... So anyway, he beat them all, even Titus O'Neil. 
So what better uh, way to have someone go in there besides John Cena with his uh, Roman Reigns? Because Roman Reigns was like the only member of the SHIELD who has not had a chance at the uh, U.S. title, who has not held the U.S. title. Just like it took Dean Ambrose a long time to get the WWE title. You know, you have Roman Reigns who has not yet held the United States Championship. So, it's going to be an interesting match. Uh, again, I wouldn't mind seeing a title change. I don't know if that's going to happen because, you know, Rusev has beaten so many people. But, you never know. Uh, you could see uh, Rusev lose this one. Uh, the Women's Championship, Sasha Banks versus Charlotte. Charlotte being the former WWE Women's Champion because of uh, Sasha Banks. Uh, losing to Sasha Banks uh, on Raw. So Sasha Banks, I heard a lot of people say, well, you know, she's tiny. She shouldn't be the Women's Champion. She shouldn't represent the Women's Championship. I disagree. I think that she should have gotten the title. I think she should have waited until SummerSlam, but she got the title on Raw. Uh, not this past Raw, but she got it on Raw. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I mean, um, is there going to be interference by uh, What's Her Face? Um, Dana Brooke? Is it going to be a double turn from Ric Flair? Who knows? Um, but I don't really want to see Charlotte uh, win the title back because then it's going to be for nothing. This title reign that Sasha Banks has. It's uh, my new term, Roddy Piper, where you only have the belt for a month. So, the New Day versus uh, the Bullet Club, Luke Gallows, and um, Carl, uh, Carl Anderson. Uh, I don't know if it's for the titles or not. It, they didn't say. I'm assuming it is. So, I'm going to say yes. Uh, it is for the titles. Um... It depends on what happens. I think that the New Day have been the champions long enough. Uh, yeah, they've been the champions long enough. I think it's time for a change. Uh, and I believe, you know what, these guys are veterans in Japan. Let's see these guys. In, we all know Luke Gallows has uh, been in the WWE for a while now. Let's see him win a belt or something. You know, so I will say the club, you know. Uh, uh, Menzo Amari and Big Cass versus Chris Jericho and uh, Kevin Owens. Well, maybe I'm biased. I do like, I do like Enzo Amari and Big Cass, but me being a Canadian, a proud Canadian at that, I will say Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens, uh, somehow cheating, I don't know, but I will say those guys, but again, I doubt it. I think that Big Cass and, uh, Big Cass and, um, and Zoe and Mari are going to do it. Um, The Miz versus Apollo Crews for the IC title. Again, a lot of people have been saying that Apollo Crews is not a very good personality-wise uh, wrestler. His, his, uh, his uh, personality isn't as good as it should be, I guess. So, let's say he does win, because let's face it, he is one of the muscle guys. And I just can't stand the Miz. I don't think anybody can. Uh, 
I mean, he, dang, I mean, he's a good heel and all that. But I think it is, let's see if Paulo Cruz can win. I mean, that, that wouldn't hurt. That wouldn't bother me. So, uh, then we have Carmella, Becky Lynch, Naomi versus Natalia, Alexa Bliss, and... It says TBD. So, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, then we'll find out, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll find out. But, uh, uh, there is a thing there that... I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. So, I can't really say who's gonna win. But, uh... So, I'll just leave that blank. Then you have the WWE... Uh, championship Dean Ambrose versus Dolph Ziggler I uh, you saw Talking Smack you obviously know that Dolph Ziggler was on there being real saying that it's about damn time he finally gets what he deserves um, putting up you know he knows that he's been putting up he's been you know all talk and no action uh, he was world championship, uh, he was world champion once, or twice actually, but the first one doesn't count. You know, so I mean, there is that, there is a lot of that going on, I guess. Uh, but that being said, I don't know what'll happen if he actually loses. Um, I'm a huge fan of Dean Ambrose. I hope that, you know, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I think. If it happens that Dolph Ziggler loses, there's a possible heel turn. He's been faced for quite a while. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, <clears throat> who knows who's going to win. Then you have the Universal Championship. Uh... Like, I can't remember. From Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. Now, Finn Balor, uh, a.k.a. Prince Devitt, a.k.a. The Demon King. Yeah, I'm watching that on uh, Raw and seeing, or thinking that the announcers are saying The Demon King. But it's, you know, they did say, it. in fact, Demon King. It's not phony. I've seen him with that look in Japan. Uh, I don't know what the funny little paper things are on his head. That's kind of silly, but... I don't know. I have a feeling that Seth Rollins is going to weasel his way and actually win the title, the Universal Championship, which I saw the beginning of the making of it, and it kind of sucks actually so I don't know what the full thing's gonna look like but yeah there's gonna be a lot of you know cheating in that case if if I think that there's gonna be uh, Seth Rollins in his way something's gonna happen I don't see uh, I don't see Devitt win right now I don't see that I think that it's gonna be an ongoing feud I'm hoping that it could be that way and then maybe down the road, you'll see Finn win uh, the championship. But as of right now, his debut uh, was as the Demon King was uh, two Mondays ago. And then, you know, him debuting a few weeks ago. I don't see him actually winning the title. Uh, I could be wrong. I have obviously been wrong before. But, uh, it should be really cool to see that. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, talk to you later. And, uh, I hope to enjoy WrestleMania. It's gonna be fucking awesome.